Ninjago backstory scenes, or scenes that give us a brief insight into something that's happened in the past, are some of the most overlooked and most important scenes we ever get in Ninjago. For example, if Wu never told the story of the first Binjutsu Master, we would have been pretty much clueless. Today we are going to be going over some of the best backstory scenes that Ninjago has ever given us. So without wasting any more time with this intro, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so to begin this list, we have to talk about the OG backstory sequence that took place in the pilots. I mean, how could this not be included in the list? It's just such a classic. We learn about Wu, Garmadon, how he ended up becoming evil, the golden weapons. It's just such a crucial part in Ninjago's history that isn't necessarily given quite enough credit. I love this scene. Not necessarily just because of nostalgia, I just enjoy how it was all set up. It was just a cool, smooth, transitional scene into the very basic story of Ninjago at that time. So for that, I'm definitely a very big fan of this scene. Coming in at number 3 is the Oni and Dragon flashback scene. This one actually took place in Mustake's tea shop. Jay and Lloyd drank some tea of truth, looked at the wall, and the story of the Oni and Dragon played out right in front of them. What I enjoyed about this particular scene was how it was serious, but there was also some slight humour here and there from Jay. It didn't really feel forced either. In fact, it was very natural. The flashback itself was also done very well, and was executed in the most interesting and most enjoyable way possible, so for that I give big props to this scene. Very well done. Okay then, so next up is the Lily, aka Cole's mother, flashback scene. Anything from the animation to the story is top tier in my opinion. The way it was told in the episode was so fun and engaging to watch. The story itself was also really great and it was a phenomenal addition to a really great season. I couldn't have really asked for anything much better here. Great stuff overall if I do say so myself. Finally then, we have a very recent scene that took place in Seabound, and that was the flashback scene of Niad. Now, straight up, I have to say that the animation style used here was incredible, and is a big reason as to why this scene is number one on this list. The story it tells, mixed in with that animation, it just makes it work so, so well. In my opinion, moving forward, whenever Ninjago implements a new flashback scene, they should include a new style of animation with it. That way we get the story and unique new animation style instead of the usual 2D animation or even just the standard wild brain animation. I think that would work even better. There we have it. We have just gone over my personal favorite backstory scenes. Please let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section. And if you have any other great ones, be sure to let me know about them. If you did enjoy today's video, then be sure to drop a like on it. If you are interested in seeing a lot more content similar to this, then please do also consider subscribing to the channel with the notification bell turned on. That way, you won't be missing out on any future Ninjago content from me. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next one.